Patty's most accurate forecast. Hi, Kevin. Hey, yeah, we started the brightening process of the skies, and then it looks like tomorrow we'll finally get back into a decent amount of sunshine, and our temperatures should respond accordingly for us. Here's a live look outside right now. You can see radar. Things are pretty quiet. There have been a few sprinkles that continue to kind of occasionally work their way through our easternmost communities. You can see these, though, are of no major consequence. Just a few sprinkles there about a half an hour ago crossed Interstate 71 through parts of Warren Clinton counties, so I'm not going to rule out that you might have a drop of rain or two in our far northeastern most communities. The majority of us, though, will enjoy a dry evening. You can see those kind of sprinkles dropping to the east of Cincinnati here tonight. Meanwhile, we're still stuck with clouds. However, there are promising signs out to our west tonight. Notice the back edge of the cloud cover near the Illinois Indiana state line. I believe the back edge of this cloud cover continues to make slow but steady progress to the east. Eventually our skies should clear up overnight, but even with just a brightening of the skies today compared to 24 hours ago, temperatures have responded by jumping about five to 10 degrees across the area, so they'll be even higher tomorrow once we get decent sunshine back into the sky. So right now, most of us resting comfortably around 50 degrees, give or take a degree on either side of that right now. Mason's 51, Loveland's 52, Hamilton 52. It is cooler to the north where the clouds are locked in a little bit more stubborn there. Springboro at 46, only 48 in Wilmington, 50 in Hillsboro, and then you're around 50 as well across much of southeast Indiana and low 50s down through the bluegrass. So as we bring it back, back downtown right now, not a bad looking Wednesday, 51 degrees officially at the airport at the moment. So here's your hour by hour forecast. You want to get out, take a jog, take a run, stretch your legs. It should be a nice evening out there and not as chilly as it was yesterday either. In the low 50s through about 8 o'clock, once the sun goes down, temperatures will begin to sneak their way down into the 40s. All right, I know we haven't talked much about this as of late, but given the fact that it's April 1st, that's when I like to officially kind of bring us the end of winter here in Cincinnati. Yes, of course, we can have snow well beyond April 1st, but hey, look at this. You might be surprised or not, depending upon how you feel about winter, but look at the snow drought this year in the 2019 2020 winter season we only picked up eight and a half inches of snow. Normally we have about 20, 21 inches. That's a full foot below normal. Now, of course, I don't have any snow in the forecast the next couple of days. In fact, I actually have warmer temperatures heading into the weekend, getting closer to 70 still. It looks like by Saturday and then mild weather for early next week. Futurecast shows you as we move towards midnight, skies will gradually clear through the night tonight. Any lingering clouds tomorrow morning should get out of here pretty quickly, making for a delightful Thursday afternoon. Tomorrow still looks like one of the best days of the week, heading on into Friday as well as we keep mostly sunny skies around through the end of the week around here. So we are looking good heading into the weekend. There are some rain chances, though. So slow clearing tonight, 36, and then for tomorrow, expect the sun to return, warming up 62 for your high. There's your day planner. It will be chilly in the morning in the 30s as we climb into the 60s. Mike and Shree, here's your seven-day forecast shaping up like this. Again, your chance for rain Saturday night. All in all, I don't see a lot of rain this weekend, but it looks damp Saturday night, maybe into early Sunday. All right, Kevin, thanks.